In March 2015, Stirnerline launches the world's first vessel powered with methanol. Through the fuel change, Stirner Germanica's sulfur emissions are reduced to zero. But getting there has been a challenge. My name is Peter Holm. I'm chief engineer here on board of Stena Germanica. We are right now in the shipyard in Remontova, Gdansk to make the world's first conversion to methanol. The preparation for this conversion has been uh, about two years. So together with Wurzela, who will convert the uh, engine, we have, uh, been, uh, have a test engine in Trieste. We started that engine for seven months ago, and there has been uh, several tests down there. And now we will uh, test it in, in, on Germanica. Here on Stina Germanica, we have four main engines. First now, we start to convert one engine to methanol, and that will be finished when we are finished here at the shipyard. And then we run that engine for two months, and then convert the rest on them. So in the end of 2015, the plan is to have four engines running on methanol. Methanol as a fuel exists already in a wide range of applications outside of shipping. The combustion technology itself is tried and tested in many, in many other areas. The main challenges with this conversion was to adapt the combustion technology with uh, the current classification rules safety regulations, flag state regulations, etc. In the Stena Germanica we are applying a dual fuel concept, which is um, quite simply what it says, dual fuel. Two fuels that can work uh, independently of each other, which means that if you for whatever reason should find yourself short of methanol, you can easily switch to diesel without having any impact on the operability of the vessel. A difference between methanol and heavy fuel or, or gas oil is the flash point. The flash point of methanol is 11 degrees. So when you have a flash point below 60 degrees, the regulations is completely different. To reduce the fire risk, we are building the high pressure pipes from the pump room to the engine room as double walled. So if there is a leak on the inner pipe, this will be contained in the outer pipe. And then we have alarm system to indicate that we have leakage from the inner to the outer pipe. And then we can stop the system and run on diesel oil. So the ship will not be affected for the propulsion, but we will change them from methanol to diesel. When the project is finished, we have built approximately five to 700 meters methanol pipes. Uh, it's it's an interesting job that this, to be the first ship who will convert to methanol. So, so uh, I know it's a lot of people who are looking to read this project from Stena Line and from outside. So, so uh, it's fantastic to be a, a part of this team, to, to work with this.